just take me. But what I wouldn't do the best to so. Stay back, or else. Nothing's wrong. Just get back. Ow! Oh, my tooth. It's the front one. I chipped it on the evil thing. In the box. Follow me, I'll show you. More of them. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Lower. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? On the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just. I just ran. The map. Show me. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By Vlakith's covenant, I know little more. Something the matter? Fine. What's on your mind? You saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. I'd never have expected that from a gith. And since then, you've seemed reliable. Maybe I'll have to reevaluate what I think I know about your kind.
I don't like the look of that mushroom. I should stay clear. her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that! You can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? <sighs> I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! What? No, the potion worked. I'm strong as a bugbear and fearless. The old lady warned me that this might happen, that it was a side effect. No, she's been nothing but kind to me. Why would she... Sorry, I need a moment. I'm not... Not feeling the best, but I'm sure it'll pass. Yeah, uh, the evil thing's in the chest. If this isn't the most boring post in the grove, I don't know what is. shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times.
Securo. If this isn't the most boring post in the grove, I don't know what is. If this isn't the most boring post in the grove, I don't know what is. have a lot on my mind and well in it Something good here, I hope. I'll take that.
something to ask.
No hesitation. Teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. <clears throat> I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her, too? <laughs> you, move! would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies?
You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let me out, you bunch of softies! with my cage for it's too late to make friends walk me my tribe's coming they're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts goddess we're burning her name across the face of the world we are the absolute is gold from the sky she is the blessing in the storm and the storm itself My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the orgs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your dogs. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Please, leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much. It didn't kill me, too. Don't say that. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Anything, any lotions or potions? Nay, bother, love. Come back any time. Damn! 
Damn goblins. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe. But not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight. But not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend, all right? Just another raw recruit thought he was in some storybook. We're packing up, and I'd advise you to do the same. Seems our kind ain't welcome here. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Have you spoken to Korga? What is it? We are refugees from Elterel. We took shelter here after gnolls and goblins attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elterel had no place for tieflings after the descent. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The High Overseer, our Grand Protector, signed a pact with devils. It dragged Elterel straight to hell. Lucky for us, a group of adventurers found a way to bring the city back. Afterwards, people looked at us and just saw Devilkin. No different from the druids here, really. Some artifact Aradin was hunting. I don't know any more than that, and I don't want to. This grove is poorer for losing Halsin, but I have my own people's concerns to look to. No word from the scouts yet? No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes, of course. Have you spoken to Korga? Through enough.
Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. No, I... It's a joke. <laughs> It's taking a really bleak situation and trying to find some light in it. Even if the light is just as bleak as everything else and... You know what? Never mind. It wasn't that funny. So many ways to die. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvanus be with you. is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Be gone. I am hungry.
You have the smell, but I do not think so. You are not like the keepers here. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits and they have to go looking for them on the other end. Ah, you're addressing me, a humble ox. How? Quaint. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. I'd so love to see them try. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, Moo. Huh. Nothing here for Funny. you. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible, or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. Goblins come, I'll be ready. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Go on, give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. to be like me. 
You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You see the fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin, become a Lithid, and there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. I like how you think. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Any questions, children? I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. job. Now they're even more scared. <laughs> Defender of the people.
true. Never a dull moment. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not... Ah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I've never, just never seen your... Your face is... Well, I, sh I should get back to it. No, no, no offense meant. I was just surprised. Concentrating on this blasted target. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. He was only a boy. And I just, just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. <sighs> Never again. Ha, uh, Haratha, Jack, and swing! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. I'll suffer embarrassment so long as I survive. I just hope the druids won't make that harder than it is already. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh. Yes, when the time comes, it'll be nothing but battle cries from me. Hold. Step, swing, parry, swing. One more time. Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. You're some kind of elf or something. They look nice, you look nice. It was just a guess. Anyway, to business. Hold out your hand. I want to show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Hard luck, lady. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. Call it. Heads or tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from.
Real cheat, too. Interested? My daughter, go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. She was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. And you should bugger off. Now! Do all the damn rituals you want! We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. Try mm. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Violence doesn't fix everything, you know. Music can help in ways a silly blade can't. Besides, I'm not doing this for me. This is for the people I... We lost on the way here. It's important. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. 
I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you... for everything. Moon... Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait! Support the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last lights down Moon reminds me of your grace All the love I can't repay Rest the note Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it.
Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. All right, friends, I'll be right back. I have to go, you know, do something for the wedding, but I will be back and probably continue this or friend time, hopefully friend time, but either way I win. See you then.